feast upon my grotesque body horror tits. When Alexander Gordon Johans dips his toes into the deep and murky waters of politics, he could not foresee the terrors which awaited him. <laughs> ah, ah, this way right here. What would happen if two kids walked in to find their parents having sex? Wow. Yes, no, I think it's Ah, right here, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, I see you. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Wow. Who has the bigger dick? Ah, hello, hello. Please, please. Fuck. Oh, I fantasized about eating a chicken the other day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I fantasized about eating a chicken the other day. It's just fucking sick. Coke Cola, this time have it with cancer and claim you're on a diet. Diet Coke. Alexander supports the Green Party in the UK, which is a left-leaning environmentalist political party. He gained attention online with his YouTube videos denouncing all things right-wing. I am what the alt-right use to convince other members of the alt-right that their cause is just because look at that man with the tits. I have told them, no you assholes. If you hunt someone and stalk someone and scream about how useless and horrible they are, how they are artistic and horrible and retarded and na 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 You are going to lose this and you are going to suffer and you are going to die. If you guys really just fucking hated me, you wouldn't leave a comment, you wouldn't leave a dislike, you would just pass. Pass silently as... As a lurker in the night. You're a threat that must be neutralised. There are Nazi cunts out there who think that who think that I am an extreme fucking example of Asperger's syndrome. But no, you 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 joke and you jape and you you come onto my videos and you're like, hey, fat boy, oh, hey, fat lesbian boy, oh, why don't you go and walk in a whore, you fucking shitty ass homo artist? Why don't you go and rinse yourself out because you got lovely tits, you fucking asshole? So you're gonna die. If you insult someone and stalk them and break them and leave them battered and you l and you insult them all the fucking time and then you say as they lay dying vote you could they are going to say fuck you never in my life feast upon them wank off wank off you kit voters wank off to my grotesque tits i give you these you kip voters, you know it makes sense. Fuck greens! And remember, fuck those fucking racist fucking asshole Nazi you kip voters. You know it makes sense. And that's right, lads. Have a good wank on me. You know it makes sense. It was actually from this video of him showing his female-like breasts that more empathetic viewers urged Alexander to get his testosterone levels checked which he did, leading him to be diagnosed with Kalman Syndrome. After being medicated for his low levels of testosterone, the increased hormone pumping through his veins changed Alexander. He became more aggressive and soon realised that it wasn't the alt-right threatening his existence, but his own dad. Hello, Tony. He proceeds to follow me around the house, screaming about how I'm lazy, screaming about all how all I do is take, 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 saying outright to me, you know what, you're dependent on me, um, if you don't do as I say, you're fucked. I will be minding my own business in my room, doing stuff for, or, or I'll go downstairs for a snack and suddenly he wants a fight and we're doing this now, okay? And he will follow me and stalk me and scream in my face and insult me and berate me. And he suddenly says, I need you to have it all cleaned up tonight. Like, now, please. Just clean it, clean it all up now. And I was just like, no, I can't practically because, hey, if you wanted me to get it done earlier, you should have let me get it done earlier. At 23 years old, jobless and in debt, living under the same roof as his retired dad, 
Alexander spent all his days in his room making political videos and writing his blog and playing video games. He's the one man who is ever stupid and angry and persistent and hateful enough to make me be violent towards him, right? Because this is the thing that, that the Tories and my fucking dad don't realise, okay? If you treat me shittily enough, I will kill myself and you have wasted all that fucking money! It's like if 4chan is six foot four following you around in your day to day life. If I start hitting, I don't know when I'm gonna stop. It's not gonna fucking matter if I kill myself, is it, Dad? That I could kill him in my anger and rage should he ever actually be fucking stupid enough to make me do that. It doesn't matter how hard you quack that whip. This man who screams at me that I'm a fucking baby doesn't matter how hard you kick me in the arse You've gotta lecture your fucking suicidal son But nah man, just get a job! Just get a job! I'm a fucking baby, it doesn't matter how many times you beg and cry and scream and say that you are useless and nothing or worthless! It doesn't matter how many times you break my fucking bone! And that's him at the door, Ray, right now, so I am fucking glad that I am recording this and live streaming this, so if he bursts in that fucking door and beats me the fuck up, then you fuckers will see it. But I'm six foot now, so what I did was I hugged him. I hugged the fucker, and I let him know that even though he's fucking terrifying to me, even though he makes me so goddamn angry that I genuinely worry that I could hurt him, it would culminate with his dad fleeing. He had succeeded in pushing his retired dad out of his own home. Then he had a big old shouting match. And he said, I'm turning into my mother. And he left. He took the car, packed his bags, and he left. After relentless unwanted attention, Alexander scrubbed his YouTube channel of all its videos, citing that Nazis were the cause. His final video came during the COVID lockdown era. Just to make explicitly, finally, definitely clear. I do not care about you. You do not matter to me. Move on. From me. Go away. Okay? The videos were a mistake. I should not have posted stuff onto the internet because it turns out there's a lot of very, very mentally unwell people on the internet who are still stalking me. You're still sending emails to me and 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 trying to add me on on Twitter and and Facebook, and you do not matter to me. You are not important to me. You have got to have more in your life going on than stalking a fucking disabled guy. His LinkedIn profile shows him now based in Orlando, Florida. So America, he's your problem now. Wank off to me now.